And here are outgoing remarks from our 2019 president, Ryan LaJoy. We're already stepping up to fill positions with unexpected resignations. By March, we were adding up major investors on the wall at the board office. I did want to be the very first smiling face on that wall. When we challenged members to follow, they stood up. And Greg has followed in that challenge, and he will be the first face on that major investor's wall this year also. Yeah. Um, we had a great, successful second resource conference beside the, beside the weather. We continue to work on improving and tweaking our already great forms. We donated over $14,000 to local charities through fundraising efforts of the Community Benefit Raffle. We added pre-licensing up in my home of Wyndham County, and we improved upon our already very successful educational offerings. We approved the finances necessary to improve the membership software to keep up with the ever-challenging technology of the needs of our members. We had not only a State Realtor of the Year with Marilyn Lusher, um, but our own Carol Christensen was elected to be the CTR President-Elect for 2020. What we accomplished in 2019 was astounding, and it's gonna take a lot to top that success this year, but I'm confident that we do have the people in place to do just that and much more. I say all these things truly not to brag. These are our accomplishments. We accomplished them and not I. Um, I was merely a mouthpiece this year for the association's success, and so I thank you for that. I will admit when uh, I was becoming president, I had my speech prepared months ahead in advance. Uh, and these remarks I barely put together this week. Um, I had this speech in the forefront of my mind for months, but it was actually on Sunday in church. The preacher was talking about the 12 disciples being sent out, and I was thinking about our board of directors. Um, and the big idea was get up and go. And I was thinking, man, that would be a pretty good uh, presidential theme. And then I thought I should probably start working on this outgoing remarks. But it was at that point I did remember that I don't think Matt even wrote anything down last year when he gave this speech. So I figured anything could be better than that. Sorry, Matt. What I think I realized most about this year as ECAR president is that ECAR is a machine. It's a well-oiled, highly trained, fine-tuned machine, and it's made up of its members, its committee members, its affiliates, the board, and especially the staff. Whenever needed, yes. Whenever needed, there was always someone to pick up the slack, to step in when there was needed, and to rise to the occasion. There was always someone there to take up the e cart torch and get up and go. Somewhere around March, as we were leaving the board office for uh, what I think was one of my Tuesday morning new member orientations, I casually stopped by Susie's office and I said, oh yeah, I think I forgot to tell you, uh, Amanda and I are gonna have a baby somewhere around August or so, just a heads up, just try to keep it quiet. <laughs> Susie went from motherly excitement to sheer panic really, really quickly. <laughs> but I was never worried. I was confident that everything would be covered and we wouldn't skip a beat. By August or so, I figured we'd be running on cruise control, all the pieces would be in place, and it'd be, we'd be in a good way preparing for Greg's presidency. So as expected, Willa Rose arrived the first week of August, all went smooth, and a week later, we had our August Board of Directors meeting. I didn't miss one baby appointment, and we had all the pieces in place, and the last quarter of the year was smooth and uneventful. I do believe, I do hold the record now for the only president to have a baby in office. Um, if not now, then when, right? Uh, on a side note, uh, last year Amanda almost totally lost it when they brought out her rare bloody prime rib to the installation dinner. No one had any idea yet, including my family that was sitting at the table, so you can imagine that was a fun evening. Um, but I truly am confident we're putting the association into great hands. With our staff, the well thought out and well put together board of directors, and with your 2020 president, Greg Hanna. I have no doubt in my mind that we're in great hands with Greg as our president. It was right actually around mid-May, uh, Greg, Susie, and myself were getting ready to leave for our Washington trip for the mid-year uh, mid NAR conference. And I figured it'd be a good time to give Greg some presidential advice and say, hey, 
NAR conference, lots of motivational speakers, lots of stuff floating around. It's a great time to steal a theme for your next year. So get your mind going in that. And Greg goes, yeah, I already got all that covered. <laughs> Immediately, I'm like, what do you mean, dude, you got all that covered? He goes, yeah, I got it all set. He proceeded to tell me about his theme. It's what we do. And at that time, I was a little blown away thinking, you know, what are you doing? And he goes, and I realized this was all part of what will make Greg a great leader. He's a planner through and through, and there's a couple of things that I've learned about Greg while traveling with him and getting to know him um, and moving together through leadership. They're all good, I promise you. Um, number one, Greg has been in real estate for more than 30 years, and most of them in the new construction industry. And because of that, he is an absolute detail freak. Nothing escapes him. His knowledge of the industry is astounding, and what he doesn't know, he absolutely, completely dives into until he does know. Yep. <laughs> and all the people said. He's been an active member of a race car team for many, many years. He can literally diagnose, dial in, and tear down a race car in no time. This takes knowledge, patience, and confidence under pressure. It also takes looking ahead and planning. His mind is always moving. He is always looking out for the association and always planning for years to come. To Greg, this term as president is not about a one short drag race year to the finish, but more like the Daytona 500. Aww. He is a tech guru. He has led our association technology committee whether officially or unofficially after its merger, and he's the go-to guy for all of our technological fixes. He's researching new member benefits, fixing projectors, and single-handedly patrolling the website at all hours of the day and night for any and all glitches and issues. And number four, he likes to party and have a great time. This actually has no bearing on our association at all, but I figured it should be said. He will make for a great and fun year at the helm, and whatever you do, do not go traveling with Greg and diving off any sailboats in the Caribbean, oh. at least for the next year. And speaking of traveling, Greg so far as president-elect has been to DC, Chicago, he got to go to San Francisco, he just flew at a whim to, to Washington last week, and me as president, they sent me to Boston. I almost live in Massachusetts, they sent me to Boston. So I was first asked to join and nominated to the Board of Directors in 2011. I remember my first Board of Directors meeting in December. It was under Kathy Dupree's soon to be helm at that point in time. And I was, and I will say I had to dig through a lot of John Bulldog emails in order to figure out when I first started. Um, but I was sitting in the absolute corner of the room. I was hoping to remain as silent as necessary. I will admit I avoided this journey as much as possible. I avoided advancements at the board as much as possible. I was always giving up the way for somebody else uh, to move up until there was absolutely no more reason to say no. I served two years as treasurer, one year as president-elect, and then this last whirlwind year as president. And I'm now looking forward to this next year as irrelevant, irrelevant and old news. Um, AKA the past president. I would encourage everyone here to consider serving when asked. I dramatically, positively impacted my business success. Um, but most importantly, it has installed